Welcome to HCL Software RApp Demonstration, AIML powered dynamic energy savings application for maximized energy efficiency, powered by VMware Centralized RIC. As communication services providers, or CSPs, drive their networks to deliver more bandwidth and services, they must still control the cost of operating the network while maintaining service quality. Insufficient resources and service quality will drop. Excessive resources and the costs will surge. The RAN should adapt to the actual demand for services. Activate energy-consuming resources, specifically cells, when needed. But deactivate excess resources when the service quality can be guaranteed without them. But how? HCL Software's Dynamic Energy Savings R app, called IDES, helps CSPs minimize network operation costs while guaranteeing user-level quality of experience, or QOE. Using prediction and forecasting AIML model, trained by machine learning to predict service performance levels and to forecast the effects of cell state changes, the application can safely turn cells off to reduce power consumption without compromising the QOE. IDES will turn cells back on when the quality of experience is expected to degrade and before it actually does. The benefits are immediate. Using the HCL software IDES R app, CSPs can lower RAN operating costs while delivering on their committed user SLAs and sustainability goals. Field deployments of HCL software's IDES Energy Savings R app exhibited extended cell sleep times, resulting in additional 7% in energy savings, translating to additional annual savings of $2 million for a European CSP with 10K sites. The HCL software IDES R app is composed of the following modules, a cell group scoping module that determines which cells groups are addressed and in which order, an app cycle scheduler that schedules the repetitive processing cycles for specific cells groups, an app policy module that enables CSPs to set the IDES's behavior and its target key quality indicator, or KQI, a decision module that makes optimal turn off and turn on decisions, which are based on prediction and forecast data from HCL's AI ML based producer apps. The action to network module that conveys to the network the action to be taken regarding the on off state of each cell. And the feedback module, which is triggered following an action to validate it has positive effect over the network. Three HCL producer R apps support IDES by providing AI ML based prediction and forecast data. The time series prediction R app that predicts future values of metrics and KPIs. The KQI forecasting R app that forecasts the impact of a cell's on-off state on meeting the target KQI. The user QOE calculation R app that calculates users' quality of experience based on use UE data of multiple users. The IDES R app ingests both network and user UE data through the VMware centralized RIC and proceeds to predict users' QOE and forecast target KQI values. By weighing the potential impact of turning certain cells on or off on the target KQI, the IDES algorithm determines whether to activate or deactivate the cell and creates actions to configure the cell, either directly or by adjusting the DSON thresholds. At the same time, IDES triggers its feedback mechanism, which monitors the impact of the action on the network and on service quality. Let's now see the HCL software IDES R app in action. Our test bed is composed of the VMware centralized RIC, offering O1 data management and AIML services to HCL applications. Accompanying VMware centralized RIC, we have VMware RIC Management System, or RMS, offering a dashboard to monitor and control the application. Integrated through the VMware SDK, we have HCL IDES R app and the three supporting HCL producer R apps, time series prediction, KQI forecast, and user QOE calculation. Lastly, our testbed is completed with a RAN network and user UE data. Let's activate this testbed. We log into VMware RMS and verify that no apps are installed. Then we access VMware Telco Cloud Automation, and through a series of intuitive and simple clicks, we onboard HCL's IDES R app and supporting R apps. 
we click on Instantiate, choosing to deploy the R app in the same cloud VMware Centralized RIC has been deployed. And after a few more clicks, we are ready to instantiate. We can see that the R app is up and running in a matter of minutes. All the other supporting R apps have been instantiated following the same simple process and now can be seen alongside HCL IDES R app on the VMware RMS GUI. We see that the R apps are all up and running and connected to VMware Centralized RIC. Let's now proceed with the configuration of performance and savings goals. For this demo, our KQI goal is defined as only up to a maximum of 20% of UEs can be under 8 megabits per second at any given time. We access the R app configuration panel via HCL's front end. The user selects the KQI to use, in this case defined as the maximum percentage of users below their SLA at any given time and sets its target value to 20% users below 8 megabits per second. Using this value, IDES monitors current and forecasted KQI values and cell or cell state conditions to determine which cells should maintain their state and which should change. On top of selecting the KQI to use and its target value, the R app has additional settings which determine its behavior. Among these, we can find sleep mode priorities, the coverage scope, the permitted activity windows, and more. Now, let's take a closer look at how the application works. As IDES starts to ingest data, it predicts and forecasts users' QOE and target KQI values, with a KQI forecast for different states of the relevant cells provided by the KQI Forecast R app and used by IDES. Then, the R app weighs on the impact of turning cells on or off. In this example, we see the impact of the R app in extending the sleep time of the relevant cells during off-peak hours. The chart shows how a default DSON setting would turn off the cell between 2 a.m. and 7 a.m. However, DSON settings by IDES extend this to 0.30 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. How? HCL IDES R app predicts that the KQI value would drop below the 20% threshold, even if the cell is turned off 1.5 hours before 2 a.m and would still remain below 20% until 9.30 a.m. So it decides it can safely put the cell to sleep for several hours more. Then, using the map view of HCL's front end, we can investigate and validate the state of specific cells in each group in real time. Tested in a specific cluster for a Tier 1 customer in Western Europe, HCL software IDES R app proved additional energy savings beyond the standard DSON energy saving feature. In particular, the application achieved an additional 7% energy savings with an average daily saving of 3 kilowatt per E node B. To summarize, in this demo, we have seen how, powered by AI and machine learning, HCL's IDES R app is able to make accurate predictions on KQIs and use these predictions to guide its logic in maintaining the desired KQI target. This, combined with dynamic threshold adjustments, leads to significant energy savings. The results are clear. HCL software IDES R app, running on VMware Centralized RIC, creates a superior saving solution compared to traditional energy saving methods, allowing mobile operators to continue to provide high quality services to their customers while being more environmentally friendly.